Hi guys, welcome back to Teacher Lexer's Math Class Channel. Good day everyone. Last time we have discussed all about fractions. Now we are going to proceed to our next topic which is all about giving the place value and the value of the digit of a given number through ten thousands. Good day everyone. Today we are going to discuss all about giving the place value and the value of a digit of a given decimal number through ten thousands. Okay, here we have our presentation. We have the model of our place value chart. In a decimal number, the decimal point separates the whole number from the decimal. So each digit is one tenth, the value of the digit to its left. So makikita natin dito sa ating place value chart. As you can see, we have the whole numbers. And separating the whole numbers from the decimals, we have the decimal point. Ito po yung sinasabi kanina. Okay? Ito yung ating decimal point. So, in our whole numbers, we have here the place value. We have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on and so forth. Then, for our decimals, we have here tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. Maliwanag po ba yun? Sana po naitindahan natin ng ating mga place values. So, here we have this number. We have the first number is 537 and 268 ten thousands. The second number is 91 and 674 thousands. And the third number is we have 8 and 59 hundreds. Okay? So, let us have some examples. Okay, here we have here the place value of the digit 2. Where is 2? Okay, here we have 2. Okay, the place value of the di digit 2 in 537 and 268 ten thousands is hundreds. Okay, tama po yun. So, itong 2 na ito ay nakatapat sa hundreds place. Maliwanag po ba? Nasa hundreds place siya. Okay, then the value of the digit 2 in 537 and 268 ten thousands is two hundreds. Okay, two hundreds. Ito po yung ating two hundreds. Next. Okay, what about what is the place value of four in 91 and 674 thousands? Again, what is the place value of four? In 91 and 674 thousands. Hanapin po natin yung 4. Pag ilan po ba siya? We have 1, 2, and 3. So, from here, we have 1, 2, and 3. So, the value is thousands. Okay? The value is thousands. Tingnan nga po natin kung tama po ang sagot natin na thousands. Okay, so the place value 4 here is thousands. Next, what is the value of 5 in 8? and 59 hundreds. Okay, what's the value of 5? So, makikita natin after the decimal point here, we have our number 5. So, ano kayo yung value niya? Okay, so let's see what's the value of 5. So, you're correct. The value of 5 is 5 tenths. Okay, the value of 5 is 5 tenths. And now, for our think and understand, we have here the place value and the value of the underlined digit. Okay, the first column, we have the given numbers. The second one, we have the place value. And the third is for the value itself. Okay, now, paano po natin malalaman ng mga place value and value nito, sir? Let us take example number one. Okay, we have here 379 thousands. Again, we have 379 thousands. Mapapansin ninyo, right after the decimal point, doon ang number 3 or naroon ang ating number 3. Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin nito? So, the place value after the decimal point is tenths. So, ang kanyang place value po ay tenths. Sir, paano naman po yung value? So, paano natin isusulat yung value? Dahil wala siyang number, 
after the decimal point aside from 3. So, isusulat lang din natin, kukopyin lang po natin yung 0 0.3. Okay? 0 represent the whole number. Okay? So, the, the value of 3 here is 3 tenths. Maliwanag po ba ang ating example number 1? Okay, let us proceed to example number 2. We have 78 and 4,891 ten thousands. Okay, so alamin natin ang kanyang place value. Isa-isayin po natin. After the decimal point, we have the tens place, we have the hundreds, we have thousands, and we have here 10,000. So, since ang may guwit natin is 1, the place value of 1 is 10,000. Maliwanag po ba yun? Again, the place value of 1 is 10,000. Okay? So, what about the value sir? So, dito, para mas madali, bilangin mo lang kung ilang po bang number ang meron bago mag-1. So, dito, after the decimal point, ilang number po? We have 1, 2, 3. Okay? Again, 1, 2, 3. And these three numbers, just replace it by 0. Palitan lang natin ng 0. 1, 2, 3. Then write 1. Copy in lang po natin yung 1. Maliwanag po ba? So, for the value of 1 here, we have 1, 10, thousands for number 2. Okay. Let us proceed to example number 3. What is the value of 0? Or what is the place value of 0? We have uh, 2,020 and 5,708. 10,000. So, hanapin muna natin yung 0. We have tens, hundreds, thousands. So, the place value of 0 is thousands. So, what about the value of 0? Dahil 0 po ang may guwit, ibig sabihin po nito, there is no value. 0 po ang kanyang value. Okay? Next, we have example number 4. We have 125 and 4,627 10,000. So, let us have here the decimal points. After the decimal points, we have tenths, then we have hundreds. Okay, so yung six ay nakatapat sa hundreds uh, place. So we have the place value of six here is hundreds. What about the value? Ilang bang number ang meron uh, bago mag number six? So isa lang po. Okay, ito yung decimal point natin, isang number. Kaya papaltan mo itong number four, papaltan mo lang ng zero. So we have this number. We have here... 600. Maliwanag po ba ang ating example sa part na ito? Sana po naiintindihan po nating lahat. Okay, for our smart ideas, a decimal is a number that represents units divided equally into power of 10. The place value of a number is given by the position of a digit and the number. The value of a digit and a decimal number depends on its position in relation to the decimal point in the number. So, sana po maliwanag ang ating smart ideas. And now, we have here our math activity. You are going to give the place value and the value of the underlying digit. So, here we have our given and then you are going to write here the place value of the underlying digit and also the value of the underlying digit. Good luck guys and maraming maraming salamat uh, sa inyong pakikinig, sa inyong pananood. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa araw na ito. This topic is related in our real life situation. Each and every one of us have our own places and we have our own values. Like animals and plants and all living things and non-living things. They do have their own places. They do have their own values. Like today, we are in a pandemic. We can see the value of our doctors and nurses in the hospital where they are serving. We must be grateful to them for all their sacrifices. And now we are done with our discussion all about giving the place value and the value of a digit of a given decimal number through 10,000s. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Shout out po muli sa ating mga frontliners, especially po sa ating mga doctors, sa ating mga nurses, sa ating mga police officers, sa ating mga sundalo, at sa mga barangay officials, sa ating LGU, kayo po ang bagong bayani sa panahong ito. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong sakripisyo at sa inyong paglilingkod. Hmm.